Hello everyone. My name is Brian Lee. I'm a professor at Sogyang University. I am very pleased and excited to present this lecture series for you. For startups, we hear all about all these methodologies, lean startups, agile, design thinking. Yes, we know all about it. But at the same time, we don't really know how to use those methodologies properly. What we are going to do in this series of lecture is that we like to put everything into perspectives so you can use this in a proper way. You have done this before, you are doing this as of now as well. It's nothing new and you already know what you need to do. You just need to do it better. You just need to do it properly. So we are going to do this in 12 lectures. And after these 12 lectures, we are going to have a better understanding about exactly how we are going to use these methodologies. We are going to start this whole thing with Lean Startup. And then we are going to talk about design thinking and then agile. And then we are going to talk about growth hacking. Growth hacking might be a new concept for you, but we have a common denominator and you will not have any problem understanding what it is. So let's begin this lecture. Startups need to turn ideas into products, measure how customers respond, and then learn whether to pivot or persevere. Wow, this is new. We know all about this. The thing is, although we know exactly what we need to do, you have seen this diagram, measure, learn, build, all that. We know what to do. We, not, we need to know exactly when to pivot or persevere, and you heard about it over and over and over. So technically, what we are going to do is we are going to create a product development and a customer development model. We are going to have a business model that actually makes your business sustainable and help you make profits. In order to do that, we need to find a way to rapidly develop your product. Okay, so what is the best way to do? Make something and then go out there as customers and then get the feedback and try to change it, make it better, enhance it. Or if that doesn't work, you need to turn around and try something new. That's exactly what we are going to do and that's what you have been doing. So Lean Startup is a methodology for developing business and products that aims to, one, shorten product development cycle, and two, rapidly discover if a proposed business model is viable. What we are trying to do is make something, go out there, ask customers if that is the right business for you or for anybody for that matter. So this is what you have seen. This is what you know. Build something and then go out there and ask and measure, analyze it and learn from it and either pivot or persevere. In order to do that, you need to have actionable metrics, exactly what to follow, what to check up. And since you don't have anything at this point, you don't really have that much revenue, you don't have profits, you don't really have any traditional value that'll help you evaluate your company. That's why we have innovation accounting. And we need to know exactly how to validate our learning. And in order to do all this, we need to have minimum viable product. You heard about it and you have done it before. Now, in order to do that, we have created Lean Canvas. Not me, not you, but it's been out there. Lean Canvas is nothing new. They adopted this Lean Startup model into a business canvas, and we created this nine section template for you to fill out. Why do we do that? Because we don't really want to create business plans anymore. I have seen a lot of startups that are trying to create business plans and do Lean Canvas at the same time. No, that's not how we do it. We like to replace it. It's more about the Lean Startup versus traditional waterfall management technique. Before, when things were slow, when things were not changing rapidly, we spent a lot of time on strategic planning. We try to plan everything and we try to do everything at once. And that model doesn't really work that well anymore. So what we want to do is create something simple. 
simple to look at, simple to follow, simple to measure. That's what we are trying to do. That's what the Lean Canvas is all about. So when you are doing Lean Canvas, the benefits include it replaces elaborate business plan that is too long to write, not easily updated, and rarely read. That's the point. See, for you, okay, it takes a long time for you to write, that's okay. But if nobody reads it, then it's a problem. One of the main reasons why you write business plan is for investors, your customers, and other stakeholders to read it and understand what you are doing and either buy from you or invest money in you. And if they don't read it, there's no point of creating business plan. And that's what's been going on. And challenge, we think, change the business model rapidly and easily. That's another good point. Okay, here's the thing. You create something, you follow, you hear from the customers, you change a few things only in Canvas and you can change the entire business model very easily. That's what the Canvas is all about. And since it is a one-page plan, one-page template, it's visual and, and easily communicable. So there are many, many benefits that are included in Lean Canvas. So here's the Lean Canvas. As you can see, there are problem section, customer segments, solution, key metrics, unfair advantages. We are going to talk about exactly how to fill out this canvas in later lectures. Now, you have to see this. A lot of times I see startups trying to create this lean canvas, just print it out and try to write something, or even they just try to type something and print the whole thing out. That's not how we do it. We like to get everybody in your team involved in creating this Lean Canvas, all the stakeholders, people that are interested in your business, they participate and they put their inputs into creating this Lean Canvas. In order to do that, we adopted a lot of brainstorming, design thinking methodologies here. That's why we use post-up methods. As you can see, you create this Lean Canvas on a wall or like a big piece of paper, and we use Post-its to create this Lean Canvas. When something is right, you keep it and you develop it. If one thing doesn't work, if customers say, no, this is not how, why we buy it, then you just simply take it out and you keep updating it. And that's how we do it. One thing you have to understand is you need to understand the concept of minimum viable product. When I talk with people, they say minimum viable product and they immediately think that it's something that actually works and you can sell. That's not the point. Now, let's see what minimum viable product is. A concept from Lean Startup that stresses the impact of learning in new product development. The version of a new product which allows a team to collect the maximum amount of validated learning about customers with the least effort. What that means is it's not something that you can sell and make money right away. It's not the feature. It is something that you have and take it to customers. Hey, this is what we are going to make. This is what we are trying to develop. What do you think? With least amount of effort. That's what MVP is all about. On the other hand, there are two other concepts, MMF and MMP. Okay, minimum marketable feature is something, a feature, not the product itself, a feature that customers want. And minimum marketable product is what people really think, usually think, as an MVP, something that you can sell right away. We are not asking you to create MMP. We are not asking you to think of MMF either. What we want to, you to do is create something that you can present to the customers and learn something from them. In order to fill out Lean Canvas properly and manage the project effectively, we adopted three methodologies. We are going to use design thinking, Lean, and Agile. The reason for that is simple, very simple. We are trying to use customer-centric problem-solving technique, and we are trying to make the right thing. And on top of that, 
we like to make the thing right. In order to do these three things, we ad adopted these three methodologies. Actually, that is not it. When you're reading other articles, they are talking about some people say foresight is very important. Some people say growth hacking is important. Some people say, some people say. In fact, we use much more complicated business development model and that's how we use in our accelerating programs. Our program actually looks like this. We take business factor, technology factor, and human factor into consideration, and we start with the environmental scanning that's a part of foresight. And we go through a design thinking, lean, agile, and then growth hacking to ensure the sustainable growth of a company. That's what we are going to do, and from next lecture, that's what we are going to talk about. From next lecture, we are going to talk about how to define the problem, and then we are going to talk about how to fill out properly Lean Canvas, and then how to manage the project in a very effective way. And finally, we are going to talk about how to ensure your growth by talking about growth hacking. So as I said in the, as I said in the beginning of this lecture, I am very excited to talk about and present this lecture series. And I hope you enjoy this too. Thank you.